Hey guys, my name is Miska and welcome to Overwatch Central. Today we're going to be talking about what we already know about Uprising 2018, the next Overwatch seasonal event that will be hitting in April. We know it's April, but I'm going to get more into exactly when and what sort of time frame in just a little bit. We actually know a lot more about this event than I feel like a lot of people realize, and I'm going to be trying to present the facts rather than just do speculation throughout this video. So let's get started. If you don't know already, Uprising in 2017 was the first lore-based event for Overwatch. It was the first season seasonal event that was very different from the others in a certain way, and it's many people's favorite seasonal event. Those of you that have not played it will surely enjoy all of the old content that will be returning, but let's talk about when that exactly will be. So last year Uprising hit around early April, it was the 11th of April in 2017. So it was around that second or third week of April on that Tuesday that day, and it's looking very likely that we'll be getting Uprising 2018 on the 10th of April, as that is around the same type of time frame, and it is that Tuesday of the month that it's just looking very likely for. The reason why I'm saying this is because Blizzard have been following a very common schedule for the Overwatch release stuff of heroes, maps and everything else and it's been very predictable so far even down to the time of day that for example Brigitte and other heroes maps and features have been released on. So the 10th of April is looking extremely likely. Events normally run for three weeks so that would mean that we'd be looking at a time frame from the 10th of April to the 1st of May. All right next up what is Uprising and what type of content will be in this uprising of 2018. So Jeff has already said that they are repeating the events from last year. They want all the players that haven't played the events, the previous events throughout 2017 and even in 2016, to experience that same content again. We saw how they sort of rehashed Lucio Ball, how they worked with the Halloween event, the winter event, and of course Year of the Dog, with how they're kind of bringing back similar content but they're changing it up a little bit. For uprising, Jeff said that they want new players to be able to experience that same content, and I'll get to that in a bit, but first up, what will actually be new? here. So as with every event there will be new cosmetics coming for Uprising 2018. It's not even sure if it's going to be called Uprising or what the sort of skins exactly will be but we do know a couple things about cosmetics. One, Winston is looking very likely to be getting a cosmetic as Jeff on the forum says that Winston will be getting a new legendary skin in spring 2018 dot 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 as you can see right here. And the interesting thing about Uprising last year was that we saw a lot of skins that we'd kind of seen in comics here and there. We'd seen Blackwatch Genji before I believe but point is that there there are a lot of skins at this point that we've kind of seen in comics, or at least ways that the characters are dressing in comics that would work very well as skins for this Uprising event. We also know that Moira and Doomfist already had Uprising voice lines from way back when. I can't actually seem to find them, but it was confirmed in several places, and obviously those guys will be at least getting the basic spray and voice lines and so on. If you look at which heroes have gotten skins recently from events and which ones have not, you can also see that it's fairly likely that heroes like Moira and Doomfist will actually be getting skins which fits well into that same way of thinking as well. And please, Blizzard, give us this Doomfist tuxedo once and for all, please. And other than that, we don't really know exactly what type of cosmetics we'll be seeing. That's essentially all we know, we can speculate, but yeah, that's about all the info we have. Next up as well, similar to the content and the setting, the, of course, game mode. So the game mode will depend on the setting of this next Uprising event, of course. They will surely bring back the King's Row mode and that way of playing, and probably that exact type of game mode, maybe improved and tweaked in a little bit, but it just seems like that will be a very good way of bringing the players that haven't played the previous Uprising the same event for them to play it. There was a leaderboard and kind of a ranked mode in that way already, where the fastest times to finish it on different difficulties would show up on a sort of top 500 style of leaderboard, so that will no doubt already be in there, but that means that you can't really do what you did with Lucy Ball, which was make Lucy Ball a ranked Lucy Ball season. So instead, what I hope that they do is that they kind of bring a little bit of an additional mode. Now, what we know in terms of setting is only really two two things released by Blizzard. First off, the recent mention of Reaper lore from Jeff Kaplan. Reaper is kind of a main pillar of the Overwatch story, and expanding his sort of storyline and everything around Reaper would make sense, because that would kind of propel the Overwatch story forward, and that's something that a lot of people have been wanting for a long time. And of course, on top of this as well, we had the whole Emmer after action report thing, that after action report thing that turned out to be a sort of start of a Brigitte teaser sort of trade, I guess you could say. And that whole mission description and way of sort of looking at it is very similar to the teaser we saw for Uprising in 2017 actually, but the mention of the Omnic Resistance, the different characters involved here and so on, just makes me feel like we could be seeing something that's kind of similar to this, even if it's just a smaller, more compact mode. But yeah, the mystery of the whole White Dome operation and all that just seems kind of like it would fit well into an Uprising type of scenario and event. But that is really all we have to go on. There was no follow-up on this after-action report and it kind of just turned into the whole Brigitte release and all that stuff over time 
time. Obviously, I don't think we'll be seeing a new hero like Emmer in connection with the next event here, but referencing that or at least expanding a little bit on that would make a lot of sense. All right, that's basically all the info we have in terms of the Uprising event though. To sum it up again, 10th of April is looking extremely likely for the date. We'll be getting at least a Winston skin, but Doomfist and Moira are looking very likely too to be getting skins. We know we'll be getting the cosmetics from last year and at least the type of event from last year, so the players that didn't play that can play that sort of old content again, or well, at least get to experience that actually in the first place. We know that Blizzard want to bring that same content, but also something new for the players that have played that already. Setting-wise, the After Action report featuring Emmer that turned out to be a Brigitte teaser seems to be likely to be a sort of candidate for what could be the setting, or at least an additional setting. And we know that Blizzard are looking to expand on lore around Reaper and the sort of main story of Overwatch. All right, that's it though for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you want to speculate, please do so down in the comments below. I'll be there discussing with you guys a little bit. But that's it for this video. Like I said, thanks again for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more Overwatch content as per usual. Until next time though, take care and we'll see you then.